Hey guys, how's it going? Brock here, and today I'm going to show you some more about Cyberlink PowerDirector video editing software. Um, in the last video, you may have noticed that there's a very loud and annoying humming sound in the background. Well, hopefully this video does not have that same sound. It's the fans from my computer, and they're very loud and annoying. But this time I'm using a microphone instead of the camera's microphone, so hopefully it won't pick up the sound from the fan. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use the ti titles and add titles to your videos. So let's open up Cyberlink PowerDirector 10. Okay, so here when it's loaded up, you get the eight sample videos as usual. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Because, like I said in my previous video, I do not really use those for anything. I'm going to go ahead and go here and open up this one, one of my previous videos on my channel. So, like I demonstrated in my other video, you can drag it to put it, put it down in the timeline. Uh, this is just alerting you that the aspect ratio has changed, so if you get that um, message, just hit OK and it will adjust the video for you. So now you got your video. Uh, let's cut it down a little bit so there's no titles in here already because I have produced this video before. So there we have the video and we want to add a title to it. So what you're going to want to do is over here on the left hand side of your screen you have a list of some icons. Uh, click the T icon, that's your titles. So you click that, and then it will bring up a new screen with all your titles here. So it gives you a lot of uh, titles to choose from. I personally usually just use the default one. I take it and you can drag it down to right below your video file to the next available video timeline slot and it will play right over your video. <laughs> you can see there it's uh, it says my title defaultly. To edit it you can double click and then it brings up this new screen that shows you a bunch of editing options for the title. So you can click this square and drag it wherever you want on the screen to have your title. So let's put it back in the middle. Uh, let's select it and name it something different let's say tripod because this video is about a tripod so you can select it just like you would in any other uh, word software uh, up in the right hand corner you can select the color you can make it italic uh, you can bold it you can select how that you want to align the text uh, you can adjust the uh, height between the uh, lines of text. You can choose the font and the font size. Um, over here on the left you get a lot of different styles of words. You can uh, select any of these and just as long as you're what you want to change you've highlighted that and you can make it any of these. So there you can see that makes it a lot nicer than just a regular plain text. So you can play around with these and figure out which ones that you like. Um, up here you can change the color. Click the color button. And then you can choose any color you want for your text to be. So you can make it blue or any color you want really. It's not really blue. There, dark blue. Alright, so up here, you may have also noticed that there are some more um, things you can do. Here you can click this to make your font seem uh, 3D. And uh, it gives a sort of shadow. There's also a separate one that's for shadows. You can select the distance you want away from it. Obviously, you have to select your text first. Then you can see the shadows right behind it. You can select what color you want. So 
give it a yellow shadow. And then you can adjust uh, which way you want the shadow to face down here with this circle. Uh, let's make it a little shorter. You can adjust the blur. You can blur it. Or you can make it very uh, clear. You can adjust the transparency of it to make it more invisible, transparent. Here you can also um, adjust the border um, on your text. You can see it just adds a uh, border to it. Select the color here. Make it this blue. So you can also adjust the uh, transparency and the blur, just like in your uh, shadow. Up here, you can also adjust the, or you can add effects to how that the text enters the screen and how it exits the screen. Uh, just hit more and it gives you a lot of different effects you can use so just put your mouse over them and it will uh, give you a preview of what each effect does so let's use this one it looks pretty cool and there it just showed you how it would look and then let's use an exit one that looks neat so there now um, you have entrance and exits uh, effects for your title instead of just having it pop up on the screen. Uh, down here uh, is the how long that you want your title to be. You can adjust the uh, how long you want the entrance effect to be. So this blue one is the entrance and then this one is the exit and then the orange in the middle is how long the text stays on the screen just to show it. You can put your mouse there and adjust it so it'll stay on. It'll take longer to enter the screen and then it will be on for a short period of time and it will exit very fast so you can do that and you can play through it this you know, open it up let's see so yeah that's how that works up here you can also do this to select a background image if you want or you can just uh, if you don't select a background image it'll just automatically put it over your video that you already have so you can just go here to find a background image on your computer somewhere you can also insert image up here, same way. It'll just insert a smaller image over the screen so you can have two pictures. Uh, you can also insert a title here. So there, you just select where you want it and then you can type some more stuff. Now you have another one. Uh, you can also, if you select uh, some text up here, you get some more options. You can cut it away. Let's undo that. Um, you can also copy it and then paste it and like I said this is your undo and then redo arrows so that's how you do that um, you can save this as like a permanent title um, you can give it a name and it'll stay in your list of different titles and uh, let's just name it so there you can save it or you can just hit the save button here and it'll just add it to your video but um, it won't save it with all your other titles so it won't be like in this list you would just have to redo all of the effects you just added to it so uh, since I just saved it it's in here somewhere but I'm not gonna go and find it just know that when you save them they're in here um, in alphabetical order and if you don't save it, it'll just add it to your timeline below. So now when you play it, let's play from the beginning. You can see, we didn't add an effect to the bottom of the video, but you can see how the top one fades in. And, and then it will uh, leave the screen. So that's how you uh, do that. This was just a basic video on how to do titles. Uh, in my next video, we will... I will show you how to do transitions between two different video clips. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you like this video. And uh, rate my videos and, and thumbs up and all that stuff you can do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.
and today I'm going to be hey showing you a little bit about how to use Cyberlink's Power Director 10. And today I'm going to be unboxing the PlayStation Vita, or Vita, or Vita, or however it 